Hi, this is Leslie Langnaut, Make Parts Fast, here at the Rapid Plus TCT Show. And I'm here with Richard Grills, and we're at the SLM Solutions booth, and you have a new system that we're showing off here, right? Yes. 280? So this is the SLM 280 version 2.0. Is it a four laser? This one is a two laser system. Okay. It's a larger cousin, the 500 is a four laser system. All right. But this system has a, a large number of upgrades over the previous version, SLM 280, to make it even more ready for production applications. And you're also showing um, this powder recovery system or powder management system yeah. that you have there too? So the, the PSV is also, it is brand new. Uh, it just came out a few months ago and that's that can be attached to the 280 or the 500 and it's for the complete management of the powder. You can vacuum the powder out of the build chamber, sieve the powder, store the powder, return it to the system, everything is completely closed. The operator doesn't have to touch the powder in any way, is never exposed to the powder, keeps it under argon, keeps it dry, and it's just uh, fully re recycling the powder. So you switch the machine on, you walk away, PSV takes care of everything to do with the powder. Now, with some of these systems and with the lasers, especially when you have the four laser systems, how do you manage the temperature, especially for long builds, like multi-day builds? It's a great point. Our SLM 500, the larger cousin of this guy, four lasers, 700 watts each. So you've got 2.8 kilowatts in a box, which is pretty small. This machine, we have 1.4 kilowatts. It used to be even just a few short years ago, standard machine would have one 400 watt laser. Now we have four 700 yeah. watt lasers. It's a seven fold increase in the amount of power which is going into this box. So we have significantly upgraded the cooling on this okay. machine and the temperature management um, to make sure things don't overheat. Um, if you're trying to make a accurate component and your machine temperature is going up and down, then you can literally see waves in the part as things get hotter and cooler because it expands. Yeah. When it gets hotter, it contracts when it gets cooler. For critical applications where you're really trying to nail the accuracy, you've got to control all those things. And you need to do it with potentially 2.8 kilowatts heading into your build chamber. So cooling the gas stream, cooling the optics, cooling the chamber itself is critically important, all of which are on the SLM 280 2.0 and the latest version of the 500. Now one of the reasons I, I've read for having additional lasers is to increase the speed of the build. So how do you manage that and how fast is fast? So how do we manage it? We essentially have, like on, on this machine, we have two different zones where each laser is working. So you effectively have two machines. You took one machine okay. and you made it into two machines. So you have one laser in the front, one laser in the back. They're working independently, but together. You have a lot of software in the background that's making sure that the one laser isn't where the other laser is supposed to be, uh, how to stitch the two together accurately and precisely. And so you manage a lot of that through software. You also need to manage the extra heat, as we mentioned. Yeah. And I've now forgotten what question you asked because About I digressed. Speed. Oh, the speed, yeah. thank you. So. <laughs> In essence, if you if you go from one laser to two lasers, you almost double your build speed. You've got to take into account the fact that you've got a recoder. But when you go to 700 watts, you're again increasing your build speed. And so with the four laser um, SLM 500, we can really get about a five times build wow. speed increase over the even the second generation machines that we have. Five times opens up massive new application opportunities uh, which were previously unimaginable. And more for a production level. This is type absolutely. Of so rapid prototyping is still very useful and that's a great application, mm -hmm. but this is a lot about production, making serial components. If you've got if you've got a component that you're making five thousand kilograms per year of that particular design, five thousand kilograms is my number for hey let's talk about it. <laughs> if you're making you know a million tons a year, forget it. This is too slow. But less than five thousand kilograms this could be a contender. 5,000 kilograms is a reasonable amount of metal. Yeah. So that opens up a lot of applications. All right, well thank you. So if engineers wanted to find out more about SLM products, where would they go? So our headquarters is in Northern Germany in Lübeck. We're just this month moving into a brand new half million square foot facility that can make a thousand machines or more a year. In North America, we're in Wixom, Michigan, which is just north of Detroit Airport. We have a lab there with this machine and three others. Our website is uh, www.slm-solutions.us. Okay, thank you. And that's what's new at the Rapid Plus TCT Show.